Hi, my name is Carmel, Cooler Master Partnerships Manager here. Thanks for joining us at the Cooler Master Experience 2024. Uh, this is during the week of CES here in Vegas. This is the Palms. This is our, our suite here in the, uh, the Nove. Got all our components, advanced systems, simulators, a lot of fun stuff. So let's just get into it. So first thing we got here. So this is our newest SSD heatsink. If you notice, it's a lot thinner than your standard heatsink on your M.2. And what's cool about this, not only does it have the 3D vapor chamber at this size, the performance is a lot better than your standard. We're talking maybe three to four or five degrees uh, less uh, Celsius than your standard, which is a big difference when you're talking about cooling inside of your computer. So you see, we're taking that 43 degrees Celsius to 48. So that's coming out, I think, in Q2. Here we have our master liquid ion. This is our top of the line liquid cooler. Fully functional LED screen there. Coming out, I think Q3 next year is gonna be our next uh, iteration of liquid coolers. This one here has dual, dual pumps in it. It also has a TEC. You can see this, it's a thermoelectric uh, cooling. And inside of the chamber here, there's gonna be two fans on either side to help double cool. So this one kind of has liquid cooling as well as air cooling in it. Here's our line of different coolers. You kind of get it like a, a cut to see the difference. This is our Elcor. This is our Flux. This is our Atmos, which just came out this year. And this was the, uh, the Ion. Now, a lot of people like to take off like the covers on their GPUs, just cause they're not that cute. They're not really that aesthetically pleasing. And these fans are okay, but what we have here, this is our top of the line Mobius fan into this housing, the fan shroud here that goes right on top of your 4080 Ti, 4070 Ti, 4090, and basically gives you a cooler looking uh, aesthetic than just a basic standard fan shroud. Coming out, I think Q2, Q3 of this year actually, we have our Pro Station. So this has sound, input output on the back, you can have two, uh, two displays. So this right now is coming out of our computer, but also can switch it to come out of your laptop. Um, also has some active cooling on top. Got a charging station, all in one. So this is one of our flagship coolers here. This is the A24 Stealth, and this is our, this is our newest line of the V8. Now, whether you're doing liquid cooling or air cooling, like we're the top in it. So, I don't care what you're talking about. When you're talking cooling, it's going to be Cooler Master. And this is like one of our flagship models right here. So here we have a NotePal Dock X. This is basically for your standard laptop. Get the ARGB, got cooling. Also in the back, got input output. And here's a line of our, our, our Mobius line. So 360, we have our 120 Slim and the Mobius 2. All right, so here we have our line of uh, power supply units. Got the uh, SFX Gold, Platinum, GX3 Gold, pretty standard, fair, as we really have our, our line of white products here for our SFX. Everything we do is about cooling and also you know, power supplies, that as well. So the biggest thing about this is same, same basic, same variants in terms of, in terms of power just different colors here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a, I'm trying to work on a white bill, so this is kind of more the line I'm going into. We also have some new things coming out with our cabling over here. So let me show you this right here. So you can add a little, because purple's our color. So if you know, we're adding a little, some little elements, talking about going purple, all purple, or maybe purple you can see when you plug it in, it's all black. You know, just different options we're talking about, because everything is about customization. Everything's about making it looking hot, looking cool. Let's go ahead and talk about this in here since we're here. Um, so this is our line of high lever, high power, X Silent, X Silent Max, and X Mighty. These are more commercial line products here. Um, if you're doing servers, if you're doing um, more industrial industrial builds, this is the thing you're going to be looking into. This one has a fan. This one doesn't. This one's passive cooling. In this one, high high integrity products here. That copper lining. This is a new series of monitors. Uh, what's special about this one here is if you look in the back, 
this has a cooling panel because one of the things you don't see a lot of uh, monitors that have any cooling solutions. Uh, so what we're doing is creating a line of monitors that have cooling inside that helps the performance, uh, that helps the uh, lifetime of the monitor. So I think this one has a four-year warranty on it, and uh, this this piece back here helps this monitor stay functioning for a very long time. And this is a mini LED screen here. On this one, this is our first uh, OLED screen. I think this should be coming out uh, Q2 of this year. Also, a thin form factor. We're keeping it sleek and slim. Over here, so this screen is unique because this screen, this is good for creators. Um, if you know a lot of creators that don't want to have like reflection or any kind of light hitting the, hitting the screen, let me show you what this screen can do. See how the light shows up. On this one, it's diffused. So this is good for anyone doing podcasting and have a lot of lights, key lights, or any kind of lighting that's you know, causing issues with the, uh, their editing or even their stream. This uh, kind of removes that. And this here is our flagship 34 inch screen with a 1500 curvature. And this is also, all these should be available Q2 of this year. Our master hub is, the most closest competitor would be the stream deck, which is very similar to what you see here. Just 15 buttons, one button push app, app, applications, and functionality, put your macros and this, that. But what's different about ours and better about ours is it's modular. So if you want to set up a situation where you have not just the 15 buttons, I also have a two button scroller, three toggle dial, and a large one toggle dial. This also have push button functionality. So if you want to do scrubbing on video editing, uh, Photoshop, uh, if you have any audio, I can take this off, put this in. I can do audio functionality. So I have levels. And also I can have three of these. I can have two sections of these. So actually that just popped up there. I can control my lighting inside the, the computer with this. So same functionality you get in the Stream Deck, but of course a lot more options with the different modules, as well as being able to daisy chain this base. So I can have two of these bases. I can have a whole nother section over here are different buttons, scrolls, toggles, sliders, and dials. So these modules show up real time in our software. So if I remove any module, it immediately comes off in the software. If I put it back, it shows up right away as well. And it's gonna be oriented vertically or horizontally. And if you can see right here, it's actually being used right now live. So this is good for streamers, content creators, video editors, um, doing audio, sound, music, lots of functionality. All right, so here at Cooler Master, we have developed the top state of the line flight driving anything simulator, Dynex. So let's show you a little bit of what we got going on here. Right now we got a guy using it to do flight simulation. And over here, we have the driving simulation, all done on the same rig. The Dynex comes with uh, haptic features, actuators, real-time feed force feedback, uh, rigid solid steel construction. It designed three di different modes. It's a metro mode, audio mode, and uh, real-time mode. So for metro mode, it could help people uh, when they practice the music and keeping them in time and by, by haptic uh, function. So we transfer sound effect to the haptic. So in this case, a uh, user could not wear in the uh, IEM system and they were not hearing the BB sound, so we try to use in the haptic technology and help them to more make them more immersive in the music world. And for audio mode, uh, people could uh, sync up with other musicians like bass player or guitar player. So in that case, a drummer can fill in the bass player's uh, groove of beat. And for real-time mode, uh, uh, it's a microphone mode. So 
a drummer could just directly fill in their own beats when they're playing. But we still have a two different versions. For this version, is fixed. This is our official Street Fighter collaboration with Capcom. This is our Chun-Li edition case using our TD500 mesh. And this is our Ryu. So this one here is our Sneaker X. This is a case design mod competition uh, that a modder design created and we took that and made a fully functioning PC, gaming PC, uh, out of it. So this one comes with a 4070 Ti or 4080, uh, which is right at the top of our uh, GPU line. We could do a 4090, but those are just a little bit too long. I think the Founders Edition would fit in here, so for the most part, it's 4070s and 4080s. Similar to the Sneaker X, uh, this here is the Shark X. So what you're looking at is also a fully functioning gaming PC designed into a shark. Thanks for joining us at the Cooler Master Experience 2024. Uh, this is during the week of CES here in Vegas.